Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Instincts, and today we're going to be talking about Jump Force with... Uh, Dimitri Clinton, I'm the Community Specialist for Jump Force. Awesome, man. So what can you tell us about Jump Force? Uh, I can tell you it is a, it's going to be a huge anime fighting uh, 3v3 title. It's really big for us just because of like the crossover of all the different anime characters from Dragon Ball, from One Piece, from Naruto. Okay, cool. When did this game start development? Uh, the game started development uh, quite a bit ways. I, I can't go into the exact details of how long ago, but it, it's been a while. It's been in development for a long time. For a long time. Right. And it's coming for PC. <coughs> it's coming for uh, PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. No Nintendo Switch? No Nintendo Switch. Do you guys want to put it on there, or is there something that's uh, we'll, we'll not see. possible because of technical problems? Or? I mean, it's nothing like that. It's just we have to we, you know, we have to see how well it does on the other platforms before we can, we can make any type of decision. I see, I see. And uh, what kind of engine are you guys using? Uh, it's the Unreal 4 engine. It's Unreal Engine 4. Yeah. Awesome. Did you guys have to modify it a specific way to fit what you needed to do in terms of, uh, like, you know, no, game mechanics was, or not really? How so there was, there was really no modifications to the game engine itself. But what we did have to do is, since the, the game, the story of the game is that these anime or manga characters are coming into the real world. Right. There's like a convergence between the two worlds. Right. So we had to kind of give them realistic proportions. See, speaking of real world, uh, in the demo you had Manhattan and you had something else. What, what other stages can we look forward to? Uh, I mean, you can look to a lot of different stages, but uh, the uh, the two stages that we have playable here are the Matterhorn and New York City Times Square. Right, New York City. I see. How many characters uh, is it going to be total? Uh, we don't have a final character count. There's yet. There's more to be announced. There's more to be announced. Yes. When is the game coming out? Uh, the game's coming out in 2019. We don't have like a solid date yet. 2019. Yeah. It's I still see. really early. We still have a lot of things to work on. So how would you say this compares to the previous um, games like this? Uh, so the uh, it's a totally different game. It, it might carry the jump name, but it's it's its own type of game. It, it's got its own engine. The game plays its own style. So it doesn't really I compare. I see. It doesn't compare. But it kind of was influenced from that type of genre and to make I mean yeah there's better. definitely similarities there right. sure of course who's your favorite character my favorite character right now it would have to be uh, ooh, I, it would have to be Luffy I'm a huge fan of One Piece and the, the character design there so it would have to be him talk a little bit about the combat system and how you guys went on with that yeah I think the idea behind the combat system is that it, we wanted something that was easy to get a hold of but difficult to master so you're able to jump in there and make things look really cool as you're playing them with just simple button presses but then when you start you know tagging in the different characters and optimizing the special moves uh, that's where the like the the advanced play comes into uh, comes into uh, gameplay I see now uh, comparing pros or average players do you think this is a game that's easy to pick up for a casual person yeah so the aim there was uh, it was it was easy it was easy for casual people just to pick up and play and go through the story mode and have fun with their friends but then we also wanted that competitive aspect right. so as you get better at the game you're able to jump in and uh, just learn the more advanced techniques I see so this blocking can you talk about like uh, counter attacking blocking how does that work sure there's so there's different parry systems you can set up you actually it works with the um, the tag button so as you're being attacked if you tap the tag button you're actually able to counter that counter that attack and have the other person jump in or you can counter the attack with a strong move so it's kind of like a rock paper scissors aspect so you got to learn how to read the moves and all that kind of stuff. It's more about the timing of the it's move. Yeah, timing. exactly. I see. So there's definitely a lot of skill play involved sure, for the pros. Yep. Are you guys going to be like at CEO or um, all that good stuff? Eventually? We're going to be at CEO, but it's going to be for Dragon Ball Fighters. It's not going to be for uh, for Jump Force just yet. It's still too early. It's a too young. There's not enough characters right. yet, so I we're see. still developing. Is there a certain amount of characters? Uh, like, this is just a general question. Is there a certain amount of characters that a game needs to have in order to be competitive? Like, is that usually a thing with all the other games as well? I mean, the more the better I would say but you know it, it depends there are games that uh, have like a, a, a small roster but they're very unique to each other and there's right. characters that have a big roster that are just clones of each other so it, it has to be a balance how, what do you think of the how's the net code uh, that you guys think is gonna be is it gonna be pretty good uh, we're definitely focusing on making sure the net code plays well it's a very fast-paced action right. game so we need the lag to be like non-existent well, yeah like that's a perfection cool are you guys gonna have a beta we, like we that, haven't decided yet or like, yeah. uh, like you know there was a demo for like Street Fighter right like uh, an open beta, beta to test the game yeah, yeah it's, it's still too early to say whether still we're gonna do one or not say. and obviously you're gonna be showing the game at different uh, venues different events what's that we're gonna be you're gonna be showing the game at different Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Gamescom, maybe? Um, 
I mean, we, we definitely want to feature it as many places as we can. We haven't made that decision yet either. Probably in Japan. Definitely in Japan. Yeah, I mean, it, it's shown in Jump, so you know, it, um, it, it would be a fit. Now, why did it show up? Uh, maybe, I don't know if you are able to talk about this, because, you know, business reasons, but uh, why did you guys decide to show this game at Xbox conference, not maybe at Sony's? I know that it was uh, it wasn't really uh, something that we were we were thinking about. We just wanted the best platform for it, and Xbox right. seemed like the best platform at the I time see. for it. You know, what makes the uh, Xbox the best platform? Is it because of the Xbox? No, no. I, I mean, I don't mean to say Xbox is the best platform system, but at the time, like the the like where we where we were able to show it. I mean, I'm not talking about the system, but like the the the, the event. I see. You know, the whole conference area. It seemed like a big conference. They offered us a spot. We we're like, sure, definitely. I see. I see. Yeah. Now, as far as like PS4 Pro Go and Xbox One. So you guys gonna take advantage of that? Definitely, yeah. Um, we're lo we're looking to take advantage of it. I know for the Xbox One X, it's gonna be Xbox One X enhanced. Right. Um, 4K. Gonna, yeah. 4K. HDR. Yeah. Well, well, so we're still looking into that. I know it's gonna be Xbox One X enhanced, but we haven't like locked down the deal details of what that's gonna be. I see. Yet. But is the game also gonna be locked at 64 the previous platforms? Because it's a fighting game. Most right. fighting games have to be kind of 60. Yeah, they, they have to be. Thing, yeah. And they're still optimizing. They're still working that. We're working towards a 60, a locked 60 FPS. How good is the PC? Are going to be a lot of advanced options, widescreen support. Still too early to say. Still too early yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah. Probably optimizing. Right, resource. exactly. Oh, yeah. I remember what I was going to ask. Go you for now. it. What is the was what was the most challenging thing for the development team in, to develop for in this game? It was the balance of the different the characters. The different yeah, characters. so you have characters like Zoro from One Piece who doesn't have any superpowers, and you have characters like Goku who's just essentially a god, uh, and you have to be able to have them fight each other on right. equal on equal footing. So that was the biggest challenge for them. How many supers are there for each character? I believe so. The, it's 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 two so far that I've seen. Two so far. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But and different characters can have more. And how do you trigger them? Uh, like what? What's so, the, like, the? Is it like a gauge, or what's up with that? So the way it works is yeah. There's a gauge below the health bar. If you hold down the right uh, right trigger mm -hmm. and click in the right stick, you're able to activate their awakened state. I see. Awakened so. So when you're in awakened state, that's kind of like God mode. And that's God mode. So like Goku goes Super Saiyan. Right. Uh, you'll get fourth gear Luffy stuff like that. What's your favorite super? It would be Naruto go, uh, turning into Nine Tails Fox oh, and just man, decimating the area. That looks fun. The thing I played this game earlier, and one thing I will tell you right now, I'm not an anime fan, but this game was fun for me, even for not. Yeah, an just anime to play fan. as like a fighting game. Yeah, it looked like, and I think I'm gonna get it for myself and my friends, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about. Nice, it. cool. Yeah, I think I think even if you're not a fan of anime, these these guys are like superheroes, right? right. It's just, it's just the fun to play. Special effects. The I think, in my opinion, Unreal Engine 4 is really great. If yep. the developers know how to use it, I think this is perfect for this game. Uh, it looks very nice. Thank and you. I loved uh, the trailer at the Xbox conference when I was there. That was, was amazing, like, right? I was like, what is this? I can't, is this gameplay? It's just like, I couldn't tell. And then like, it was seamless going into gameplay. I'm like, oh, this looks cool as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people are like, holy, what is this, right? Are you a, are you a big uh, Death Note fan? Say what, fan? Death Note? I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I'm not very okay, into. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not very. It's just a, I know so who Goku is. I kind of grew up on. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, one thing that caught me personally in the trailer was Goku appearing after a weird anime character because I knew who Goku was, mm -hmm. and then seeing Frieza, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna have nightmares now <laughs> of Frieza. So you know, it kind of go, went back gotcha. to my head of my childhood when I was a little kid. Oh, you know, I see. Okay. I was like, oh shit, what is this? A fighting game or is this some kind of an open world superhero game with like action based? I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so I had no clue it was playable until someone told me. I'm like, shit, I gotta, get, I gotta check this out. <laughs> so I played it today. One of our, uh, one of my employees played it as well. So you got two people who had hands on. Nice. And now Excellent. we got the interview. So we got the whole package for you guys. Boom. So I'm definitely gonna send you a link. You got, you can check it out. Our preview and all that good stuff. I can't wait, man. Yeah, awesome. Is cool. there anything else you would like to say about Jump uh, Force? I just want people to be excited for the game, man. Like honestly, when I first saw the trailer, it took me back to when I was like 12 years old right. playing with like action figures. You know, right. playing, combining like GI Joes and He Man. Right, right, right. So, like, Having all these like great characters in one game it just it blows me away. For a lot of people, at gaming instincts and like they're crazy anime fans. They were fucking screaming their heads off. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the great. reaction we want. Yeah, it was holy shit. Like we're gonna have this nice, like hardcore, gra like nice graphical fidelity, super awesome anime all stars fighting fest. Yep, yep. It's a dream come true for a lot of people. I believe. Yeah, including me. Quick question, and then we're gonna go. Sure. Um, um, have you guys ever thought of like if you look at a game like Monster Hunter for example they recently had a lot of crossovers like Final Fantasy Mega Man were you thinking of doing crossovers maybe uh, of characters from other genres or or you know other universes or is this strictly anime like 
would you ever put Superman in here? Probably not, right? I Probably mean, that, that's, yeah, there, that, right? that, I mean, it, it, nothing's ever out of the question. Right. It's just a matter of like you licensing. know timing and licensing right. and all that. So yeah. But we're, we're really focused on anime titles, so. Right. I see. Cool. So you could grab like other anime characters that are maybe not so uh, well known, possibly, but well known. Some. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to say what the future's right. hold, will hold. Right now, we're just kind of really focusing on on Jump Force and right. all the different characters. Are you going to be doing post launch as well, supporting the game, some yeah. shape or form? I mean, it's whether it's new characters or new stages. We'll see. We'll right. see how well the game does. Awesome. Uh, thanks so much. All right. No problem. Thank you.